I wouldn't know how to say it. But sometimes when I'm thinking of something, other times I'm not. But if I ever have a thought, is make sure I'm clear in my hips. A lot has to do with tempo. Just committing to the shot. I'm a big feel guy. Turn your body and club through together. John Rahm, six foot two, 220 pounds, with big legs and strong glutes. He is a powerful man who puts as solid a strike on the golf ball as anybody on the PGA Tour. It's strong, it's precise, it's repeatable. It's why John Rahm is one of the leading figures in the game. John Rahm going with the driver. He went after it. He sure did. This guy keeps fighting. He never gives up. John Rahm's entire golf swing is defined by the fact that he was born with a club right foot and had to go through a procedure where they essentially broke down every bone beneath the knee in the right foot to straighten things out. So consider that area over there. It was essentially built or rebuilt when he was a young boy. So that now has left him in a situation where this right ankle lacks mobility. So as a result, his golf swing has to compensate for that. So John Rahm quickly realized that he cannot swing back as far as most because of the inhibition down here through this part of his leg. So as he sets up an address, I just love the angle setup. The bend there gently through the spine, the belt buckle pointing down to the handle of the club, and just easy bending through the knees. Strong, using those glutes, those legs, to set up this wide and powerful golf swing. Starting away, the club will work pretty much along the ground, straight off the ball, and the handle of the club shoots out, and he gets to this place here where at the top of the swing, you can see he also has some of that wrist bow, some of that very strong club face, the modern day PGA Tour move. But you notice this, the hands are barely above his shoulders, and the elbow, the trail elbow that is, is barely above his midriff but still he can create a lot of power from there. The big strong legs being the reason therefore. Think of that area as the engine of the golf swing as we show you how that fires and ignites. So down, you see how the legs are changing direction and driving and leading and pulling those arms down through contact. One more time, you can see how the wrist conditions are just going from more bowed to slightly less bowed as well. And right prior to contact now, as we take him all the way down, he is just in a very powerful spot. Lower body unwinding, chest passive. Look at this golf club face, looking directly into the back of the ball. Lower body is cleared out, very stable in his feet and characteristic of a number of very solid ball strikers. That glove hand wrist, it's bowed, it's bowed up, it's strengthened with the trail elbow underneath. Now watch that elbow just drive and straighten as he puts a hard uppercut through the back of the golf ball. From there, the body continues to unwind, the arms straighten, and all the way to the follow through, there's never any holding back. Every time John Rahm hits a driver, it is hit with complete authority. Rahm, certainly the firepower to get home in two. At least 310 to cover the water. This is down the left side. If it kicks right, it's perfect. Oh yeah, just another beautiful tee shot. I mean, he just, that's what he does. He aims down the left side of fairways. He tries to peel that little cut. It's not a little. They're going 330, 340 today. Big, strong John Rahm from the caddy view. With driver in hand, a club he loves to hit. Ball position way forward in the stance, just perfect setup to absolutely smash a driver. Look at this, this is something you can try. John has that trail foot turned in, remember the club foot, the club right leg. But you see how the forward foot is rotated out. That is going to facilitate an easy unwind of the body through the golf swing. So if you struggle to get through, turn that forward foot out. Now before we pull the trigger, 
Gary Player taught me that a trigger for a golf swing to start the movement is always a good idea. So you'll see Rahm, the body will move back, but watch the handle just trigger forward, just a touch as he starts. So the blue line is him starting, there's the trigger. That sets the whole thing in motion. So from there, you'll see the forward press, the trigger, and the swing of the club back away from the golf ball. Arms get together, now it's one big extension of the arms away from the golf ball. And look at this, the swing might not be long in the pivot. Remember, that's a function of what he can do down here. But look at how the swing is wide with the arms. Look how far in behind the ball his upper body is. He is primed to hit this thing on the up and create maximum power. Now, if you want a reference, I've always believed that if you really want to create a wide, powerful swing arc, you must imagine that you're standing inside of a doorway. And at the top of the swing, always reach for the top corner of the doorway, like John Rahm is. That's going to create this wide swing arc, and the wider the arc of the club is, the more time you have to accelerate through the ball. So here's the forward leg, there's the ball position. See how the low body drives? He finds his center. Now you'll see the upper body, the head, will stay back as everything begins to unwind. Low body leads, upper body follows, arms remain wide, and root to impact. See the left leg clear out, the hips unwinding. Look at how the pressure's moving into the heel of that forward foot, as we talked about earlier with the way he situated it. Low body and upper body unwinding, head back, eye line in behind the golf ball. This is the ultimate condition to create if you want to launch upward. From there, watch how he pivots into that forward heel. The arms just free wheel all the way through it. The velocity of the arms into that high Jack Nicholas type follow through pulls everything through there. And every single time John Rahm hits that driver, you will see the upper body rotated all the way through. You'll see the pressure all the way through because when he hits one, he hits one with complete abandon and full authority. Lewis cuts it back again, so right to left sloping fairway. That's perfect. Oh boy, they're just thrashing it out there. The beauty about John Rahm is whether it's with an iron or whether it's full-blooded with a driver, the golf swing remains pretty much the same. The only thing that varies is the speed. At address, there's the trail foot turned inward. You can see the forward foot flared a little bit. You can see the weaker glove hand there at address too, which allows him to get that wrist bowing. Now, as he swings away, you will notice, however, that the upper body will remain more over the center of his stance because in this one, he's not looking for full power. It's more about that controlled fade he loves to hit. So as we start away, little forward press every single time, see less movement to the right, very much over his center. Look how wide the arm swing is there. That is just absolutely gorgeous. Now watch again, we talked about it with the driver, as we toggle back and forth in transition, you'll see how the lower body the engine of the golf swing is the trigger. And you see as that hip drives forward and turns out of the way, it allows the arms just to fall right back down in front of his body and root to contact. So we get to the top, lower body unwinds, arms fall down, bang, look at that. Left hand turned underneath the golf club. Face just marginally open. He hits his fade shot more with a passive club face because he doesn't swing across the ball very much. The swing path is quite neutral, so that handle leading allows the toe just to trail the heel, and every single time now, as the body unwinds, that slightly open club face at contact just allows him to brush across the golf ball and put that patented John Rahm fade on it every single time. Once again, left foot giving way, allowing him the ability to rotate all the way through. Club rested over the shoulder here as it gets a full pass all the way through from back to downswing, uninterrupted, just not as fast as what it is with a driver. Ball above his feet. Launch that really high, this looks good. Wow. 
Wow, what a shot from Rom. That sounded good, Steve. It's yeah, crisp. Ooh, yeah. There we go. I think he's got this shot. Needs to get up a yard. Release, look at this shot. Look at this shot. Oh, how did that miss? Wow. There are many reasons why John Rahm is a beautiful iron striker. 2022, he was 12th on the PGA Tour strokes gained T to green. But I want to point out what I believe is the rudder for the golf swing. That is the nose. That is the cone pointing straight down the nose. And then one more thing. This is for real compressing contact. That's a level above his head. Now as John winds up, you will see the standard stuff, the forward press, the tight pivot, the sweep of the arms away. But focus on that cone, where the nose is pointing throughout. As he reaches the top, can you see how he's lowered off his levels? That's allowing him to really make a downward strike through the ball. But can you see the rudder, the nose, something that helps define the path and the base of the swing arc? It's still looking, it's still pointing where it began. Now, as we continue to take John Rahm down and through the golf ball, the body's low, that nose pointing behind the golf ball, arms in front, bang, another solid strike, and watch his nose. It'll stay down, pointing behind the ball until well after contact. Then it's pulled up by the right shoulder and by extension, the pivot of the body. That nose can really be a rudder for the arc of the swing. Now with one more pass, you can clearly see the rudder of John Rahm's golf swing. There are a few golfers who allow the nose or the head to rotate early. Annika Sorenstam, David Duval spring to mind. But John Rahm and Jack Nicklaus, they keep that rudder pointing behind the golf ball and it helps them to bottom out the swing arc in the right place every time. Starting left, aggressive line, needs to get up. And it does. Oh, what a shot, shot by John Rahm, and what a time to hit it. That is a statement maker right there. I mean, that thing was absolutely flushed. There's world number one. This from 104. Front left hole location. Players will want to land this maybe a little left of the hole. Use some of the slope. Beautiful oh, shot there. 